Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Artsonia station and the iPad to use the Artsonia app. The first thing you need to do is finish your artwork and bring it over here to the white piece of paper. To start, you need to press the Artsonia app on the bottom of your screen. This brings up the main page. You'll log in under the student button in the middle of the paper. If you are in the classroom, you can press scan the QR code on the wall, as well as on the counter next to the station, we have a picture of a QR code. All you need to do is take the iPad, hover over, put the code in between the grid that's shown, You'll be given a screen that looks like this. You'll say yes to Shelmont Middle School. I'll say find student. At this point, you can use the keyboard at the bottom of the page to type in your name. You'll see a bunch of names start showing up at the top. Make sure you select the correct name. Check to make sure it's the right grade level. Right now it shows me as having no art. I'll go up here in the corner and say add art. You will now see a list of projects. I'm going to choose the complementary color wheels to start. Then you merely line up the iPad to take a picture, making sure you get all of your piece of artwork on the screen. Press the bottom, the button at the bottom to take the picture. At the top of the screen, there's buttons for retake if you didn't like the picture you took. Otherwise, you can use the editing tools at the bottom. The first button here changes it from a rectangle to a polygon. This is a rectangle, and then this is the magnetic shape. For the magnetic cropping tool, you can change the polygon tool. You still can only have four sides but you can change it independently of one another. If you go back to the rectangle, you can only pull, it'll move two sides at once. You wanna crop away anything that is not part of your picture. Now it says name at the top of mine. You need to make sure that your name is not in the picture. Then collect, you can rotate at the bottom down here if you took a picture from the wrong side. It'll switch it around. You can rotate it all the way around. There's another little tilt rectangle down here. So if you just need to tilt it a tiny little bit at a time, you can go back and forth and just get it a little bit more straight. When you're satisfied with what your image looks like, click Next. Now you can go and edit the color and the um, contrast in your picture. You can do this automatically by touching the magic wand tool. Uh, you can decide whether or not you like the change in color or not. You can also be a little bit more precise by touching the sun tool over here. The top one, if you slide it over, you can see you can make it darker, lighter, make the colors more bold. I like it somewhere back in the middle here. You can change how light and how dark it's supposed to be. If it's pretty dark and you don't have enough lighting, you can lighten it up here. Most of the time you should not be way over on either end of this. When you have a picture the way you like, go back up to the top and click submit. It'll upload the image. It then brings you to a page that allows you to write a title. So I'm gonna say my color wheel. You can either press done down here or you can press submit. For most of the projects, they're going to ask you a question. So for mine, it says, what skills did you use to create this artwork? And I'm gonna say, I traced my stencil. And now that I'm finished, I can click Submit. If I wasn't finished and I wanted to come back to it, there's a Save button right up over here. But I'm done, so click Submit. 
and now your artwork is submitted to me. It'll say uh, submitted to teacher for review. So everything that you put on here, I have to approve before it goes online so we don't have any inappropriate comments written or pictures that don't look quite as good as they could. Same thing happens for if you accidentally put it under the wrong project, just tell me and I can fix it on my computer. And that's about it for adding your own artwork. The last step is just to click home and make sure you log out so the next person doesn't accidentally add artwork to your profile. When you pass the iPad on to another person, they can begin at the stage where they type their name in. They no longer have to scan the QR code.